Right guys, welcome back. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about quite a niche product, but it's also quite a very interesting product. And it's going to be how to maintain and clean wheels with carbon ceramic brakes. So I'm going to give you a bit of a backstory because I love a good backstory. So basically, carbon ceramic brakes were first introduced on the 2002 Ferrari Enzo, and that was a collaboration between Brembo, which as you know, is a huge brake manufacturer, and of course, Ferrari. They need no introduction. So basically, that was the launch for the first time ever um, carbon ceramic technology was used in an automotive world. Now, usually carbon ceramics prior to this date were specifically designed for aerospace. So as you can imagine, the word aerospace in any industry means something's quite expensive because these parts obviously have to withstand certain kind of tolerances. So after the successful launch of the Ferrari Enzo brakes, what we started seeing very slowly is a few more manufacturers year by year started to implore the technology of carbon ceramics onto their vehicles. Now, obviously in 2021, as you, as you obviously know, there's not many cars with carbon ceramics because they are expensive. So you looking for setups anywhere, five, 10, 25,000 um, pounds for these amazing braking systems. Now, a lot of people, whether you're um, in the trail like a detailer or you're a person who kind of knows somebody with carbon ceramic brakes and you're asked to clean them, again, there's a lot of misconception about carbon ceramics. So I want to try and clear that up today. But also there's a lot of fear because, again, if you go and mess up what you're doing here, you're going to be paying a big bill, you know, potentially 10, 25,000 pounds. So, as you've seen in my last video, you've seen that I've used our Yum wheels, which is um, a combination of wheel cleaners and wheel fallout removers. So a combination of fallout removers and wheel cleaners can be safe to use on these wheels. You just need to use, like I always say, a little bit of common sense. Now, if you're using acid wheel cleaners, I mean, first of all, this is a satin wheel. So acid wheel cleaners, 100% not. But if, you, if acid gets onto the actual rotors or the calipers, then yeah, I would not recommend that. Heavy alkaline cleaners, again, I would not recommend that. So actually I've been um, testing all different variations of wheel cleaning methods and as obviously you've watched me for many many years now i'm always changing and i'm always trying to perfect the kind of the regimen that i use on my personal cars in terms of how i clean them the safest way so on this one i'm going to show you a way that um that i've been trialing obviously off camera first just to see if i like it now as you can see there's a array of products around me so first of all I've got my wheel cleaning bucket, so you've got your wheel woolies, you've got our detailing brushes, all that sort of stuff, which again, that will never ever change. Now again, the famed Yumon dress for the rubbers, the rubbers don't matter whichever car that you're cleaning. Again, that's the same. Now, what I'm gonna do, you've seen me clean it with um, the Yum wheels, now you're gonna see me clean it with the Yum citrus. So with this, I've knocked it down to three to one, okay? so. I've knocked it down just to remove any kind of heavy bite because at the end of the day, these wheels are, first of all, maintained by me, they're protected by me, so they are in good condition. And also um, to use a full strength product on wheels that don't produce that much dirt, sometimes is a little bit unnecessary. So yes, three to one here, perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rinse the wheel first, apply the Yum Citrus, let it start doing its business. Now what I've transitioned to as well, in here you've got yum foam now i'm going to cover the wheel in yum foam and what's that going to do it's not going to i'm not doing it for any extra bite or anything like that it's actually for lubricants so the whole wheel is going to start kind of soaking in the yum foam it's going to actually provide a wetting agent for the citrus now basically it, it allows the wheel to stay cooler for longer and that will give the Yum Citrus more kind of punch and let it actually dwell and start to break down a few of the contaminants that are left on the wheel. So as always, what I recommend is make sure the wheels are cool to the touch, as they are. It's been sat here all day. Now here you've got, I wouldn't say it's brake dust, but you've got your general road kind of grime, sit, salt, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to just rinse this down, break down anything or, or, or rinse away anything that can be rinse with water and then I'll let the products do the talking. So now three to one citrus. 
I'm going to be as liberal as possible with this. Let every part of the wheel be touched by this product. Now, obviously, now you're going to see how just versatile this product is. So look, I've just covered it in a very basic way. You just want even coverage. At, at, at the end of the day, it is a liquid and you want to let the liquid touch as many parts of the wheel as possible. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Yum form, which again, I've knocked it to um, 10 to 1. So again, 100 mil of product inside it. The rest with water. So obviously, look, I'm, I'm not using any product whatsoever. So now the beauty of this is I'm going to, again, I'm going to get my favorite Will Woolly of all time, the largest one. And you just want to just move the product. You're not scrubbing anything. I always hammer this home. My products don't just dissolve dirt. They loosen it now. The microfiber technology within the wheel woolies will pick up anything remaining that obviously has to be kind of compact washed away. And you're just working in a sensible fashion, left to right, up and down. It doesn't really matter. So again, the barrel has been hit. Now what I like to do as well, so can you see all the kind of foam and the citrus that I've picked up? I always like to kind of go into the arch and just give this a once over. This way I will never have to do any dedicated arch cleaning because I do it once a week, every time I wash the car. And obviously I get my detailing brush and again, I'm gonna work this in a, in a sensible, common sense manner. I'll start at the same place and I'll finish at the same place. So this is where I'm transitioning now because I know you can't feel this through camera, but what I'm feeling with the with the brush is the is the foam provides a lot of slickness. Yes, it does add a little bit of cleaning power. Let's be real, but it's not why you do this. And especially if you've got gloss wheels or sensitive finishes like this, obviously the satin wheels, is you want to just try and be as careful as you possibly can with these kind of wheel finishes. So it feels very slick. It's always been kind of a slick product. And the benefit is it kind of complements the citrus very nicely. It keeps the citrus on the wheel longer than kind of usual, because again, there's a thick blanket of foam of the top. So like now on a sunny day, uh, you have less chance of any product kind of drying on your wheels. That's it. Just make sure you get all the lug nuts, anything like that. Again, onto the housing of the rotor. I always like to do this. Like I always say, it takes you a fraction of a second and it just keeps everything super clean. And the final step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undress the tires. As I said, this step does not change. This step stays exactly the same. Rubber's rubber, irrespective of which wheel it's on now and that's it so what you want to do is just rinse it thoroughly and what i like to do which i've kind of already learned now carbon ceramic brakes have got a tendency of squeaking but that's sometimes because some kind of gunk and junk can, can actually build up within the drilled slots of um of the brake discs so if you do have carbon ceramic brakes or even steel brakes because i find this helps too if you've got drilled and slotted rotors all that kind of fancy stuff i let the pressure really kind of blow the holes out so if there's any stuff that hasn't kind of come out the pressure will really help it and that will reduce any squeaking as well and that's it guys so very simple nothing too kind of harsh so all you would have to do now dry the wheel whether you blow dry or wipe it dry just whichever way um re-moisturize redress your tires and you're back in business now see carbon ceramics on the hard to keep clean um it's actually especially if you protect them it's such a doddle. You're just rinsing them, cleaning them, drying them very quickly. And there's not really a lot of kind of product that you need to be aware of kind of to use on these things. But you've seen everything we do. Obviously we are forming with a human form with the PF22. We've got citrus knocked down three to one. 
and of course undress and all the kind of wheel clean accessories that you need so that is it guys hope you've enjoyed the video um, as always please if you do enjoy the content please drop me a like let me know your thoughts in the comments below it's very very important that you engage as much as possible in the video so please comment down below what you thought the good the bad have you enjoyed it it also helps the youtube algorithm of course the more comments and stuff kind of helps and other people as well who are learning and who are in your position it really helps them if um they kind of see what sort of questions are getting asked because half the time they're, they're answering the comments by myself for the team can help somebody else out so like i said leave me a like please if possible um leave me a comment and as always if you haven't subscribed you know what to do guys drop me a subscription as well but apart from that guys hope you have um, a great week ahead and i will catch you on the next one cheers guys take care